But you know how like when you pull into an RV resort or park and there's like those long parking spots right out front of the office and you park there and then you go inside and you register and then you go to your site? Okay, that's our site. <laughs> <laughs> We're there. So, we pulled up and I'm like, do you think I can park here? Because it might be it's blocking. It's dicey. And then she comes okay. out she says, let me show to your site. Oh, oh. you're in it. <laughs> All right, okay, look. so guys, Although, this officially no planning has caught up to us. Well, it is 4th of July weekend at the premier Cannon Beach RV Resort. With no data. Across the street from Cannon Beach on 4th of July. It's amazing we even get to dry camp here for 28 bucks. No, no, <laughs> yeah. no data. Do you see that? No The kids are service. freaking out because Verizon has one bar and it's fake. Actually, no, Verizon says no service. No service. Okay. And of course, on 4th of July weekend, you can imagine what the internet situation is here. But you know what, though? We got the video out this morning. We're across the street from Cannon Beach. What do what do we need to do? We're we just dying. need a, we just needed a place to sleep, and I don't want to be at a Walmart on Fourth of July weekend. No, I don't either. So why don't we do this? We're allowed to unhook, right? We could, yeah. So let's unhook and let's okay. get into town. Oh yeah, how do we yeah. the Goonies? And let's make the most of Cannon tonight. We'll rank Goonies. Okay. How do we and, do that without uh, no data? And then tomorrow morning we'll head to Mount how Rainier. How do we do that without data? <laughs> he just thought of. <laughs> As soon as I went to go lower the tongue jack hitch, which I just talked about this morning of all times, listen. It seems like the motor, the gears inside the tongue jack are like stripped. They're not working. And the problem is if we sit here, we have to disconnect. And if we don't disconnect, we can't go see Cannon Beach and this town of Cannon, which we really wanted to do. So I would say, and it's 4th of July weekend, so nothing's open. So I would say we are in a predicament. <gasps> Put everything back to the way it was. We kind of agreed that it can't be fixed quickly, like right now. So now that we have Ginger permanently attached, we are gonna go into town and check it out. Welcome to Cannon Beach. This place is so super oozingly charming. It really is. Those are the haystacks. Do those rocks look familiar? One-eyed willy, hashtag? Oh, yeah! Okay. Anyhow, so we are now here, and, uh, and by the way, this is now on our very short list of places that Trish and I have kind of like earmarked as place destinations we'd like to come back to. It is so much fun. People have picnics. Of course it's dog friendly because this is Oregon. Yep. There's dogs everywhere. Yep. 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 And um, just lots of fun to be had here in this charming, beautiful town. Well, speaking of this charming, beautiful town, we are going to now go walk into some shops and go find a place to eat. So let's go do that and we will show you what this charming little town looks like. Come with us. What day is it? Christmas? <laughs> no. No. Easter? St. Patrick's? Can't remember. Huh. Happy 4th of July. Happy the only Fourth. problem with holidays on the channel is it's a dead giveaway of how far the channel runs behind. People are like, 4th <laughs> of July? What is this? is an outrage. outrage. That was like two months ago. Doing the best we can. Yes. Okay, but here's the good news. When the channel gets behind, and then we take little breaks between season, between seasons, the channel gets to catch up, and we never miss a weekend. Yeah. So think about all these other series that we watch on Netflix and whatnot. It's like, okay, we're done with the season, uh, and we'll come back to you in about seven to eight months. <laughs> yeah. And that's so annoying. Yeah, I by the time they come back, it's like, hey, hey, hey. I don't want I, I don't, you anymore. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Thing even on. Last night we had a meetup. We did. One day notice, we're in Cannon Beach. I mean, like, how many people are in this area? Like, so many great people. Every time we do a meetup, we're just like, Trish and I are like, how come so many cool people follow Keep Your Daydream? 
Yeah, thanks for coming out. Lots of fun. Now we're headed up to Sumner, Washington to be with Bob and Shirley, who you remember they were in the Super C that mm -hmm. Buddy escort us down to Mexico. Mexico. And then we're going to head up into Seattle. Maybe do a meetup there. I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. So let's go. Let's go. Oh, and here's the one last thing. I'm going to flip this camera around so that you can get a glimpse of this RV park. It's really it's cool. It's a fantastic RV park. Question, do these glasses look kind of ridiculous with this hat? Okay, first of all, yes, I am still wearing this hat. And second of all, we just stopped in at Long, Longview, Washington, actually. Longview, Washington to Stop in at the Harbor Freight. I got a eight ton bottle jack for thirty dollars. Actually twenty five. Mm -hmm. Had a maximum height of fifteen inches, which is why I liked it because I can screw it up high. And we got this bad boy, which was a recommendation from Mark at the meetup last night. He says if you get that, wait, hold on, Trish. He says if you get an engine code reader, make sure it's the O B D two with the can option scan tool with live data and the ability to raise codes. That's what he said. This is $99 at Harbor Freight. If I can find it on Amazon, I will do it right now and link it so that you have it. But anyway, this thing I think is going to be awesome because if we have any other problems, we can just plug it in and see what the problem is before we have to take it somewhere. So I'm excited about that. Yes. And I finally have a sufficient jack, which I'm happy with. So, and it's 4th of July, if you haven't noticed. And I got 25% off at Harbor Freight. So I pretty much got a free bottle jack. Setting off fireworks. Anyhow, oh, and then also, we just met up with Karen and Chris. They live near uh, Longview. And they brought us some super yummy homemade barbecue sauce. So I can't wait to make something good with that. Yeah, they couldn't make the meetup. And so they said, hey, if you're coming through Longview, I said, as a matter of fact. Anyhow, so all sorts of cool stuff happening. Yep. And, and now, now we're back on the road. Back on the road. We're headed to Sumner to celebrate 4th of July. Did you know it's 4th of July? Can you tell? No, I don't think they can tell you. hear that do you know what it is it sounds like there's a war zone back there but no it's not a war zone okay okay look at these people lined up right back there they're all standing behind a giant rock barrier lighting off everything mm -hmm. that you can think of safety first <laughs> make sure you stand behind the rock barrier someone literally just told us if you got your fingernails you're doing good you're doing good so just take that word of this advice place is absolutely it. insane Bob what's this called the Muckle, Muckle Shoot? Muckle Shoot Indian Firework Extravaganza. Whoa. Yes. In Sumner, Washington. Whoa, I just And heard it that is one. not safe for us to even be standing here with these no. knuckleheads down here lighting off <laughs> anything with a fuse. Yes. Okay. And, um, I and, got then this. There's, and then there's the stuff that we bought. Yes. And I'm in charge of this. Yeah. And. <laughs> 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 Anyhow, this is, uh, I mean, just endless endless amount of vendors selling stuff and then all these guys lighting it up over here yes crazy but stay tuned because i have a feeling tonight is going to be a pretty big show i saw you think it's gonna light up it's gonna be lit it's gonna be lit <laughs> oh gosh Stop. hashtag dad jokes no what kind of trouble we'd be in if we bought that toy chest filled 
with fireworks. Okay, if you buy a sparkler here, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> oh, my this God. is sensory overload from oh, the flags way. to fireworks to freedom. It can happen is you run out, we got you covered. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and so, like, it cracks these guys up how I can just roll with some of these lines. And I'm like, really? I'm not planning it. I, I don't have anything written no, down. It just no. never dawns on me, you know? And they're like, you're awesome. Keep it up. Over there, he was all, that's mine. Come on, you know? He's like, show some respect. How crazy was last night? Fireworks in the drone, like lighting them off. The kids, it was crazy, crazy. That's our second year in the row, second 4th of July in a row that we've been doing like with people that do their own fireworks. Yes. So much fun. But now we're headed over to uh, the Lewis's RV service and bus conversion shop. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. So come with us and we're gonna go tour it. Let's go. I just need one more little cub over one there. One more little cub on that coach? It could be like independent cub over to the side. It'll be like Victoria. And then you could be in the front like running. So you're saying that if they can put one more, paint one more cub on that coach. I'll that, take it. Then we're gonna start, we're gonna start busing? Totally. In fact, why don't we just cub up the trailer right now? Cub up? Yeah. Cub, hashtag cub up. Cub why up. Why don't you tell everyone where we are? We are in Sumner, Lake Taps, Washington. At? At Infinity Coach. Okay, in and case this place. In case we haven't mentioned it, Bob and Shirley are who we met when we came down to Mexico. And, and back in 1990, they started Infinity Coach, and now they've retired, and their son Jim runs it. And so we had a great. I mean, they were the ones that kind of helped us get down to Mexico and that kind of stuff. So yes. when we came up to Washington, they said, "Hey, come on, stop by, stay at the place, and then we'll give you a little tour of Infinity Coach." All right, there you have it. There's our tour of Infinity Coach. Very cool deal. I got in a conversation with Jim about sealant and because the ginger could use some sealant. Very interesting conversation. Check it out. So to me, the importance of sealant is it has to look good. Yeah, yeah. Right, I mean, yeah. this is something I'm gonna stare at the rest of my life, practically. Oh, that's the sealant? Yeah. It's coming out of that tube? tube? Mm -hmm. It's black? Black or oh, white. Okay. Right, it only comes in two colors, black or white. So, you remove all the old sealant, gently, carefully, yeah. mm -hmm. and then you, you tape everything out, the yeah. old tape line, so you yeah. got your, and then you put, you apply the glue and you use your finger to smooth it out, and then, <clears throat> then you pull your tape when it's time. Now figuring out exactly the moment to pull your tape takes a little bit of time, mm -hmm. because if you pull it too soon, you're going to get, it's, it's a polyurethane glue, so you're mm -hmm. going to get the stringers. Yeah. If you pull it too late, the glue sticks to the tape. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a Well, I don't have patience. this stuff on my on my RV now. I just probably have some Ch cheap silicone stuff. Yeah. There's a sidewall. See that? Yeah. It's just all d lamb So that all that we're taking this whole section of the wall off and re-glue it back on. Okay, big day today. Big day, Trish has big day planned. Trish, yes. tell them about the big day. Okay, 
set the stage, World's Fair in the 60s. You know wow. the World's Fair. There was one in Paris. We got the Eiffel Tower. World's Fair in Seattle. We got the Space Needle. So today... Oh, wow. Is that how the Space Needle... Is that why it was yes. created for the World's Fair? Yes. Wow. So we're going to take the monorail that they built to bring people down to the pier over by the Space Needle. So okay. we're going to park. We got the inside scoop. Thank you, Michelle yeah. and Shirley. Yep. And there is so much more to see than just this. But... We're going to park at the Westlake Center. That's where the monorail takes you for about $2.50 a person. It takes you straight down to the Space Needle. You can go and see all of that. You can walk down to the pier. You can do the Ferris wheel if you'd like. We're going to if take you'd like. If you'd, if you'd like. like. I want to do it. Then you check out all that. Then you take the monorail back up to Westlake Center. And you go walk a couple blocks down to the fish market. The famous farmer's market where they throw Flying you fish. Pike's Place, they throw you the fish. Carson, Ryan, how about you? Caleb. Caleb, nice to meet you. Instagram, hashtag KYD gum. It's a lot of fun. I think you gotta come check it out and you gotta come visit it. And of course, you gotta see if the KYD card is up there on the wall. But you can't stay here for longer than like five to seven minutes because it starts. You start feeling a little gross. You like want to wash your feet. You want to just let. You want to get out. That wall was just scraped less than a year ago because oh the gosh. city said no more. So they power washed it and they scraped it off. And a local walked by and he said, literally, this like popped back out overnight. <laughs> Now in West Seattle, Trish, take it away. <laughs> so uh, that's it. That's what I got. That's what I got. Okay. You do so, the rest. Welcome to West Seattle. Mm -hmm. If you don't know the Seattle area, then you are only slightly below us <laughs> because we do not know the area very well. But we do know that we made the most out of today, and Seattle yes. is 
fantastic. And if you have a car and you come over the bridge and you come to West Seattle, you can drive and see the whole Seattle landscape, the cityscape. It is gorgeous. And then you come around the corner and you see water, you see people having fun on the beach, you see mm -hmm. a little tiny statue of Statue of Liberty, yep. which is hilarious. Yep. And there's all these little restaurants. And these like, ferries going back and forth, which are just super cool. It kind of feels like a boardwalk, yet it's like a whole town. This place is a ton of fun. And watching them throw a fish and having today. the bo boys catch the fish was absolutely a riot. But Well, having Carson catch a fish. <laughs> That's right. Caleb did eventually catch <laughs> he one. He did. He did a good job. But That's only because the guys talked to him and they said, you were committed. Yeah, if you yeah, were yeah, committed, yeah. you would have caught that fish. And then he caught fish. it. And then he, and then he it. went and he's like, okay, I'm going to go catch the fish. Yeah. And boom, he caught the yeah. fish. If you hang out in Pike Space long enough, you eventually get like... You get you, saturated. The tap out button? It's like, all right, I got to get out of here. Yes. Yeah. And so, so, but it was really neat. But it has been fun. So now we're going to head back into uh, Tacoma area, and we're going to get ready to head up the coast and jump on one of these ferries in a couple days to head over to Victoria. Oh my God! It'll be super fun. So we're going to go up to Anacortes. We're going to go up to Anacortes. We're going to stay. Uh, we're going to stay there one or two nights before we get on the ferry and go into Sydney, and then we're going to meet up with a KYD insider, Kenneth and his family, Yay! to go out on a trawler yacht and go fishing and hang out around the islands and that kind of stuff. So oh that's super my cool. Gosh. So you have I that to look forward wait to. Wait for you to see this. I can't yeah. wait for me to see this. I can't <laughs> wait for you to see this. We're all going to see this. All right, that's it for today. So we will catch you uh, either first thing in the morning or on the next week's episode. So take it easy. Say la vie. Thank you very much, folks. Uh, King Louis sings that one. We are the Speakeasy Jazz Cats. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you. Thank you all so very much. Thank you very much for your support. If you like the music, tip the band. If you don't like the music, tip the band anyways and uh, pet the belly of the husky. We're, we're, she's the whole reason we're here anyway.